Okay, I want to thank you guys. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, in today's class, uh, this is what, what's going to happen. Um, I'm taking you through the introduction of uh, introduction to Pygame. Okay, so uh, what is Pygame? Pygame is just uh, a Python library that we use to, to create 2D games. Okay, so just like the name Pygame, it's about games. Okay, but these, these are just 2D games that you can make uh, in Python. Pygame is an external library that we have to install. Uh, it's not built in, okay? It does not come with Python. You have to, you know, to install it uh, into, your, into your machine, and then you can then use uh, Pygame to, to make video games. All right, so today we're, going to, we're simply going to um, go through this, how to install Pygame. That's number one. Number two, we're going to look at how Pygame works. And then lastly, we're going to uh, create a Pygame main surface, right? A, a surface in, 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 in Pygame is just the window, okay? Uh, so uh, let me show you just a few things that you have to keep in mind. Uh, when we're talking about Pygame, uh, we're dealing with surfaces like I told you, the window is going to be the surface, but on that window, you can add more surfaces on that window, okay? So it's a game of surfaces, All right? And then, we, we have a loop, okay? A loop is going to be uh, the one that's going to be running the game, right? So the loop is going to handle our events, it's going to update the game, you know, update our screen and then keep on running until we press the quit button, okay? So obviously we need a loop for our game to, to be running, okay? And then the last thing you need to, to know is there is always a link between the loop and the surface because whatever happens in the loop, is, the, is going to af affect what is going to, to be happening on the surface that we have, All right? So these are the three principles you have to keep in mind. Okay, so uh, we shall want to import and, and then create constants and then make our loop. Uh, this is what we're going to do on later on, All right? But first things first, let's go and see how to install uh, Pygame. Okay, so what you need to do is, uh, if you're on, on Windows, you need to head over to your command prompt. Uh, if you are, on Linux or on Mac, you, you need to go to your terminal, right? And then you enter this code, you just write PIP, that is PIP, right? So we want to check if we have PIP. Uh, what is PIP? PIP is, an, is a package manager, is the one that we use to install this Pygame, right? So PIP helps us to install external libraries, right? So, uh, such as Pygame, right? Let me press enter here. And then when you have this list of information, like commands, general options, and stuff like that, it simply means you have PIP properly installed on your machine. Now you can move on to the next step, which is uh, uh, PIP install Pygame. Okay, so, so for others, uh, you might not have this. Uh, you might run into an error, okay, which says PIP is not a recognized command. Uh, what you need to do is you need to properly install PIP. Okay, or you, you need to properly install your Python, or you need to just add Python to your uh, Windows path, All right? There's a video about that. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Okay, now the next step is going to be pip install pygame. All right, in this, uh, on this step, you need to press enter. And then if you don't have, you know, pygame already installed on your machine, uh, it's going to take, you know, a while to, you know, to, to you know, to, up, to, to download uh, the package, uh, to download uh, the library. So you need to wait uh, a moment. However, I already have installed this already in my machine. So it says requirement already satisfied. I already have Python in my machine. So I don't need to worry. So now let's head over to our script and see uh, what is the next step. All right, so I'm gonna press, I'm gonna enter exit here. All right, so the next step is how does Pi game work? Okay, how does Pi game work? All right, so what you need to know about Pi game is just like any other library, you need to import it first. So we're gonna say import Pi game. All right, so once I import Pi game and then run this, uh, you will see this information down here if you have properly installed your Pi game you will see this information which says, hello from the Pygame community. All right, so this simply means this is a signal 
you know, uh, that simply means you have properly installed your Pygame, so you are ready to uh, to explore. All right. If you don't have this, you need to, you know, look into what is going on and then properly install your Pygame. All right. So the next thing you want to do is, like I said, uh, we're working on surfaces, so you need to create a main surface. But before you create the main surface, there are certain things that you have to keep in mind. There are certain things that you have to take care of, like constants. Constants are values that are not going to change, such as your width, the width of your of your surface, the height of your surface, the colors that you're going to be using, uh, the frames per second at which you know your loop is going to be running. Those are what we call constants. So we need to define them first, and then we move on to create our surface. So let's define these constants. All right, FPS is the first thing we want to de define, which is frames per second. This is the rate at which our, our loop is going to be running. You will see how this works. Okay, don't worry about it. Just just put it, F FPS is, is going to be 60. All right, and then the next thing we want to talk about, we want to talk about colors. Uh, I, want, I want white and black. So white is going to be, uh, colors are represented uh, in a tuple. Okay, so red, green, and blue, RGB. So this is going to be a number between zero and 255 inclusive. So for white is going to be 255, 255, 255. What this simply means, this is red, green, and blue. So we have the maximum of red, maximum of blue, and maximum of green. So that gives us white. And then black on the other end, uh, black on the other end, is represented by zero of, of, of red, zero of, of green, and zero of, 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 of blue, like that. Okay, this is the representation of, 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 of black. All right, so let's move on to the next part. The next part we want to do is define the width. Okay, so you can choose any, you know, width that you might you might want you you can put any value so for me i'm going to put 700 and the height uh you can always change this if you want okay so for the height i'm going to put 500 all right this is just random numbers that i'm putting out okay so uh, and then the next thing we want we now want to get into the surface let's uh, define the surface all right so within the pie game uh we're dealing with the display okay so uh, there's, there's, there's a method that calls the di display uh, module and then set mode method. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna you know assign a variable. We, let's call this a screen, and then this screen is going to be pie game, and then dot display, and then dot. We're gonna call the method set underscore mode like that and then inside here we need to pass in okay we, we, it's also a tuple so double brackets like this and then we pass in the width and the height so we're gonna say width first comma height like that all right so now we have described our surface we have we have actually created our surface now let's let's run this let's run this uh let's run our script control b and then as you guys have seen, there's a screen that shows up and then it disappears. That's our surface. Let's run it one more time. Control B. Surface shows up and then it disappears. Okay, what's happening? Because uh, we have surfaces and then we're supposed to have a loop. Okay, so a loop is going to keep our surface running until we decide to quit. So how do we create our loop? All right, to create our loop, we also need to create another variable uh, for uh, running is equal to true. We also need to create uh, the time. So we, we need to call the time clock is equal to pi game dot time uh, dot clock, capital letter C like that. All right, so what's this going, going to do is going to, uh, is going to allow us to control the rate at which uh, our game is going to be running. All right, we need it to be consistent on each and every machine that we run our game on. If we do not use uh, these frames per second, what it simply means, uh, this game will run faster on faster machines or in slower on slower machines. That's not what you want. You want your game to run consistent on, e on, every, on any machine that you put, on any machine that you put your game on. Okay, so now we can create our while loop. While something 
is happening please do this okay otherwise do this so we say while running because running is what we need while true right and then what do we need now we can say clock dot tick we want our clock to tick at what it, it's 60 frames per second so we can say fps okay um and then now we can we can look for events what events are we looking at or what events are we looking for we're looking at you know uh, like the quit event like quitting the window and stuff like that so th that's the first thing we want to look at we want to see if our user has quit our game if he has done that or if they have done that we should you know get out of this loop and stop the game okay so uh, we're saying for we use a for loop for event in pygame dot event dot get just like that what do you want to do we want to check if event dot type the type of event is equal to pygame uh dot quit quit in caps like this and then what do you want to do if the user clicks the quit button what do you want we want running to be false that's the only way what we can get out of this loop right false like this okay so and then out of this loop you know we have to say pi game dot quit and we have to quit this uh, entire loop All right so once we quit this loop our window is going to close right so control save and then control b and then as you guys can see now we have a window or a surface that is continuously running until this event happens this event clicking is this is the event that we were describing here okay this is the event that we describe here that if if the event type is going to be pygame.quit running has to be false okay so if i run this as you can see for as long as we do not quit the window is going to continuously run okay that's what we mean and then if i'm going to press this quit button is going to disappear if you do not for any reason you do not you know uh you know uh, specify the event your window is going to continuously run All, the only way you're going to stop it is by uh you know stopping it or, or quitting in the task uh manager okay so you don't want that to happen okay so uh i hope you guys understood this is our first video uh, this is our first video on on pi game it was just an introduction to pi game and then we're going to do more int interesting stuff in our next videos all right, keep yourself logged in, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you guys in our next video. All right, I'm out. Bye-bye.